Sorry, one more time. We were sitting here, uh, John Segal and I, we were trying to write something with crazy, which is like who's crazy on the sequence of this song because we didn't have a title yet. And we just started messing with with the drum, and this is what we had. So then we had the belly. The belly. I had a bass, and I was singing the bass line. So then we couldn't think of anything, so then I took a walk. I went to get something, I don't know if it was a drink or something. And I got the idea for, uh, you gotta be crazy to have sex in the 90s. And we wrote the whole thing, just me singing a bass line, him playing chords over this pattern. And then we just put it on a tape, and we gave it to George and Clay, and then we did some more work with it the next day at the office, and then... After we finished it, we said, we need a fresh fresh approach, somebody that'll take this and do something completely different with it. And we gave it to Randy Barlow, and that's what happened. So that's as far as Sex in the 90s got. What, what made you, how did you think of Randy when you thought of this tune? Because Randy's got, Randy is probably the most uh, open-minded person musically. He likes to listen to very strange things from all over the world. And... He likes to experiment that way. I, even some of the things we've done, we wanted to give him an opportunity to, to do something on this album. We figured this was the perfect song. So he took it home and he came back with Pee Wee Herman <laughs> singing. And uh, not singing, using his laugh as a percussive instrument. We gave him all the ideas and we said, do with it what you want. And he came back, we gave him the bass line, we gave him other things. But he changed it and we really liked what he did. So we kept it like that. Randy's kind of an odd guy. Describe kind of Randy a little bit. He's Randy's a uh, Randy's very talented. He's shy in person, but on stage he's got a great uh, personality, and he's, he loves the stage and he loves to perform, loves to dance. You know, he's great, and he's really out there in his choices of music. And uh, he's a, he's a great guy. He's he's been with the band a long time before George and Clay and John and Mel. He was at I think twenty years old or something when he joined the band. You get that B-roll of him just acting crazy. You remember that video? He's great. He makes sound effects, all kinds of strange sound effects, especially this one uh, siren, like an air raid siren. And whenever we were going to start the show, you'd hear him in the bathrooms because of the big echo. When woo, him and Teddy would do like a harmony that sounded exactly like an air raid signal. And then you'd see people in the, in the halls like running around wondering what's going on. He's a lot of fun. Definitely uh, very talented. And I think he's going to be doing a lot of things. And, Recognized for him, really got a lot of talent. Which other ones?